An America-hating insurrectionist who participated in January 6th spoke with former Trump advisor Steve Bannon about what she did at the Capitol on January 6th. And she says that she wishes she could do something to make up for it, but the thing that she's been ordered to do to make up for it, go to jail, is a bridge too far. Take a look. You go in the building, how can the government argue for 96 months? Well, that, that is incorrect. I did go in the building and the one through a window, but I didn't go deep into the building. I didn't go into the Senate floor. I didn't go into anybody's offices. Um, and I really, I don't understand why they're asking for as much as they are. It, it doesn't make any sense to me because it was, it was a mistake and I'm sorry. And I, I wish I could pay for it or do, do something, do anything, but eight years to. I'm Ravana and welcome back to Rebel HQ. That was Rachel Powell, also known as Bullhorn Lady, because although she didn't admit to this in that interview, she stood outside the Capitol with a bullhorn and directed rioters to storm into the building. She was recently found guilty on nine charges, including felony interference with officers performing their duties and obstruction of an official proceeding. She's been on home confinement for over a year. As you heard her mention at the end of that clip, the prosecutors have requested eight years of jail for Rachel Powell because of the very active role that she played on January 6th. Now you heard her mention that she went into the Capitol through a window and now you're going to hear how that happened in the first place. Um, you could tell me about the window. Well, I mean, I, I did. I did break a window. I did. She didn't just climb through a window to get into the Capitol. She broke the window herself. She broke the window and then led the charge of the rioters into the Capitol building. But she doesn't deserve any jail time. Poor innocent her. And she does feel real bad about it. But she has an excuse. She has an excuse as to why she had to do it. Uh, I saw, um, I was on the violent side of the building. I was on the west side. And um, after I saw Roseanne Boylan dead at my feet, I was obviously irrational. I did break a window. Um, I, I've i never hid that. I've always been open about it. But to give somebody eight years for that in an out of control protest, um, you know, we're not insurrectionists. We didn't go there with a plan. I mean, quite literally, you are an insurrectionist. You went there with the explicit intent to stop the certification of the election results. You went there to thwart democracy in this country. You had a plan. And it absolutely was violent and chaotic. And that's because of you. <laughs> that's because of the Trump supporters that went there to be violent and create chaos. But let me just prove to you how absurd the claim is that she didn't have a plan. There are many videos where you can hear Powell herself herself saying people should probably coordinate together if you're going to take the building that sounds like creating and executing a plan to me and she can later be heard in those same videos saying we've got another window to break to make in and out easy saying that they were going to break the window and then she did in order to make it easier for people to get in and out of the capital and then the next day she bragged on her Facebook page about storming the Capitol. This woman was guilty as sin, which is why the prosecutors are requesting such a heavy sentence for her. And while Powell doesn't believe that she deserves the eight year sentence that prosecutors are requesting, and although she won't admit that it was an insurrection, she has admitted to breaking the law. She's admitted that she did the things that she was accused of doing. However, some conservative pundits and politicians are still pushing the ridiculous conspiracy theory that it was the FBI and Antifa that were actually creating chaos at the Capitol on January 6th and not the Trump supporters there attempting to overturn the election. 
And one of those conservative politicians pushing that conspiracy theory is Marjorie Taylor Greene, of course. The federal government should never be weaponized against the people and set up honeypots and traps to draw people in and, and actually take part in making these people commit crimes and then framing the people to set up a narrative against a president, it's wrong. And I believe that's what happened on January 6th. The federal government forced these MAGA supporters to storm the Capitol on January 6th. They were forced to commit crimes. And it is patently absurd of her to claim this when there is video evidence of what happened that day. We can see on video the Trump supporters starting a riot and then storming the Capitol. There have been many trials and copious amounts of evidence introduced in each and every trial, which definitively proves that these Trump supporters were acting of their own volition when they entered the Capitol. Many of them have admitted that they were acting of their own volition when they entered the Capitol, and a lot of them have attested to the fact that they did so at the behest of former President Donald Trump. But Marjorie Taylor Greene and other MAGA morons just like her don't want you to believe your lying eyes. It was all a deep state plot to undermine the legitimacy of Donald Trump, the only real president of the United States. And I'll end this by saying, Rachel Powell, if you do feel remorseful for what you did on January 6th, and you do want to pay for it, and you do want to make up for it somehow, I have a suggestion for you. Serve your time.